guys know, of course, before we feed any animals, I've got to feed me. <laughs> 10 out of 10, I would not recommend that. <laughs> I don't know how they eat that stuff, y'all. y'all we back again with another one you like how i just bring it in like that babe yeah yeah we was out here chilling and handling didn't know i was coming back again with another one but here we are listen today you want to speak yeah. go ahead baby girl today we're gonna have a grill out and yeah we on it we on it we on it we on it i be can i be can looking good yeah today we're gonna do just a quick run through on uh, our chicken setup for our chicks uh, some of you, some of yous may call it a how-to video, but not a how-to. We just gonna show you how we chose to set it up, the feeders we chose, the waters we chose, and uh, that's about it. So come along with us. Y'all gotta see how Crocky acting today. Look at how mean he just cutting up in here. I just stop in the pet the friendly guy, and he just I'm talking about dog on cutting up. He still ain't calmed down. He won't sit down. We can't tell him nothing. I believe he think he's grown now. Y'all think, y'all think I ought to just reach in there and just pick him up? What you think, man? I will. Yeah, I think you should. I'm gonna have to teach him a lesson. He believe, he thinks he's tougher than I am. Listen, y'all, we gonna check out our chicks. But first, I got to be honest with y'all. It ain't gonna be all, all chickens this video. We got the boys over there. Walking down the back side of their compost. Hunting some worms. They want to get after. We're trying to catch us something to put over in to catch them all. If you guys follow our videos, you're familiar with the catch them all. And uh, we're going to put something in there to match old Big Ben. I'm talking the country like Dorsey and Bianca. That's about the country as it get. That's about the country as it get. We're going to go over here and uh, give you guys just a quick run through of our first little area here out of the chicken tractor. There's a white head and uh, Nehemiah, they out there. They said they're gonna get in the way today. But uh, we gonna get this, this chicken tractor here is uh, these are, these are what they call broiler chicks here. And this chicken tractor here is set up on wheels so that the, the aim for it is so that the chicks can always have fresh grass. And, uh, <coughs> They're designed to move every couple days or as needed. And uh we're gonna move this after we eat today, unfortunately. I was wanting to go in the house, but it's gotta be moved because it's like day three at this point. And, uh, but let's open it up and show you guys what we got. It does that. So I, uh we've got this feeder here. We've been through a couple of different feeders, and honestly, I hadn't liked any of them until we got this one. And uh, it's set up to hold a bunch of feed. It stores a bunch of feed, and as they go in there and eat it, gravity, of course, helps it trickle on down. Trickle, trickle on down. But uh, this is a good style of feeder. There's several, several automatic style of feeders out there, and we've tried, like I said, a bunch of them. But for these kind of chicks here, they are are bred to get fat really quickly. Uh, you got to have a really good feeder that can hold some feed. And that feed is expensive. It's expensive. That feed is expensive, y'all. But uh, you got to have it something set up to hold that amount of feed. The little small ones that are set up for more of the other style of chicks um, won't work in here. Those These chicks here jump on it and beat it up and such. We also got this one here for water. Here's the main water system. In this style of water, it's an automatic water. As you can see that chick there, as he goes in, he's hitting that yellow knob, and as he's hitting that yellow knob, water's coming out. It's trickling on down. And I like this style of water because it don't have to be refilled every day. Um, it can hold a bunch of water, and it also is helpful because we feed, well, I'm sorry, we use uh, antibiotics and such in our water. 
you know, to keep the chicks healthy. Uh, some people believe in it, some people don't. What's for yunes, what's for yunes, but me, I want them clean if I'm gonna eat them. Anyhow, uh, we keep medicine in that water and it prevents the chicks from being able to get in it. It has a lid on it, as you can see, and nothing can get into it. So that, uh, that'll last them a long time. And it only fills up that little red cup there, just about to the level of the float evens out and it'll uh, stop flowing. But uh, we found that one to be helpful. Y'all, I'm a little distracted because these pigs walking up on me and it don't look like the fence on. Let me look at this here. The fence is not even on. That must be Hannah. Let me turn that on for you. Yeah, that green light indicates it's on, which means it wasn't on. That might be why we keep having pigs running around the neighborhood. Who knows? Who knows? I'm just kidding. We got that under control, y'all. We got that under control now. Let's get this thing closed. There we go. But uh, that's one uh style of water and feeder. And like I said, y'all, what's for yunes may be for yunes, but we like this one here. Um, I don't know if y'all caught the video or not yesterday, but I didn't get to show my peacocks. He got us a male peacock in there. He's got a. Uh, it looks like he, he's got two or three females in there with him. Yeah. Those peacock eggs just keep coming. By God, they keep coming. I'm talking about more more country than Eastern Corbin. Let's go on down. I'm going to help CJ. CJ's been, the little kitty ribs you guys saw them get on their birthday. Uh, he's been throwing that out today, reeling in some brims and such. When they get that worm, we're going to tie that worm on there. Uh, probably Texas rig them, we don't know. We're going to tie them on there. CJ said he wants to be the one to catch the catfish, to go in to catch them all. We're going to check on them. We're going to check on them and see what kind of worms they've caught up, if any. Knowing them, they probably ain't been getting after it since I left. Dogs up and running. Dogs up and running. Up and running. Looks like my corn finally it was beat up, y'all. The rain beat it up bad. But we got to do something about getting that. Listen. Malone Produce. I'm gonna call you back in a minute, but listen, I need you to help me about getting this grass out of there. That other stuff you sent me, it's got to be knockoff. Got to be. Got to be knockoff. I know knockoff when I see it. Let's check and see how things going over here on this side. Y'all got any worms? Nope. How many? Nope. Zero? Mm, I might have to send mama no, to come over here and finish that up. But, uh, since I'm here, we'll go ahead and show you guys run. I know Hannah showed it to you, but we gonna, if I don't fall over, I've done that before. But uh, we got this area here. This run is about, mm, it's about 40 foot run, 30 to 40 foot run. Uh, it's designed where we've got grass here on this side that'll grow for them to come in and eat. And on this side, we got our shavings here. That'll keep them some kind of dry dryness because if not, they'd eat this grass down and turn it to a muddy muck area. So the shavings help keep some kind of grass here, and they've got grass going here and on around the tractor there. But so what I was saying was, as they scratch these shavings out for us, that we won't, we need help spreading anyway. They're gonna scratch these shavings out, and the deeper they get, the more they pull these shavings back, the more grass will grow. So that's kind of our plan with that. We don't know. Okay, so here's our uh, setup here. We've been in the market looking for chicks. Uh, trying to find some reasonable price chicks you know we want them dirt cheap dirt cheap but anyhow so this area here what we're gonna do is in this run here hannah's gonna bring the chicks that you guys have seen her since day one of the channel raise she's had those chicks since day one of the channel and hannah's gonna bring those over here in this area here and what we're gonna do is they're gonna be living inside and out here these are uh, Bins you see here, go milk crates. We gonna stack them up, drill them in. Now listen, y'all know if I say I'm gonna get after it. 
I tried to tell him, if I say I'm going to do it, you don't have to remind me every six months. I'll get to it. Anyhow, we're going to stack these crates up, drill them up. It's already still got electricity running. That's what you see running down through here. So we're going to buy some baby chicks to put here. Uh, now, this here, since we're here, we'll go ahead and show you. This is the other style of feeder here. It's got a plastic tub that goes on top, and it automatically trickles the feet down as well. But for big chicks, that doesn't work. And the bottom to the waters are there as well. And they have the same kind of little plastic fixture that kind of goes on top of it like a crown. You screw it in, trickles the water down. Everybody's seen them. Nothing new. You guys know we know nothing new. We don't know nothing anyway, according to some of you. Oh, I, maybe I shouldn't see it there. But, uh, huh? How many we got now? Guys, y'all think we ought to fire them? I've gave them ample time to, to locate any worms. Is it time for termination? What y'all think? Should I fire y'all? Yes. Oh, it seems like you ready to quit anyway, huh? Well, stay on in there. I'll send the worm queen over here to get them. Just stay tuned. Stay tuned. Listen, if y'all ain't never had to sit in the truck bed, gas station, out front, old men in there chewing the fat. Listen, I don't even need to finish that. Yeah, I lost some of y'all right there. When I said chewing the fat, that got you. That got you. Listen, that's enough jazz about chicks and such. Let me feed the animals with y'all for just one second. We'll get back to those chicks. Listen, I know I showed y'all to these puppies a thousand times, but y'all don't. Listen, I need to call them out. Let me tell you what happened. I had a potential buyer here today, here to buy a pup. And then pups, y'all, laid down quietly. They didn't show none of that. That lady probably thought, she probably thought we was trying to sell her some, some old mutts or something. But listen, they turning it up now. Ma'am, I forgot your name, but if you see this video, here they go. Let's watch your meat. What y'all say we do that? What y'all say we watch your meat? We named that. That the one gonna bark at me when I go across here. That's old sign, but watch this. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, there she is. That's old sound. That's why we call a sound. What y'all say we just What y'all say we just watch the meat for a second? Getting after it. Getting after it. Getting after it. Getting after it. I wanted to show you guys the pups and let you know how they were doing. We're going to feed the rest of the animals. We're going to get back and see if we can help these boys find some worms. Stay tuned. Let's throw some over here for the goats. Looks like everything's coming in. We got to get this done before we can even get to the chicken. I know, I know, I forgot you. Oh, I gotta feed the goats. They acting like I forgot them is the problem I'm having. There we go. Gotta feed Nehemiah. Guys, if you don't feed Nehemiah first, he'll come up after you. Oh, Nehemiah, he's a, he's a flight risk. I believe I say that right. I'd like y'all to know each time I get in front of this camera, I say something dumb. That's just to give you some running home and talk about. And those corrections of my grammar. Don't like the way I talk. So yes, I just realized I called a flying duck a flight risk. And that's not the same thing. Let's go over here. We got to feed these ducks over down the way. We got to. We got to. Because them ducks come on through. They'll come on through. By God, I've seen them done it before. We're gonna put a little bit out for the goats there. We got to get a little thrown out for Dorsey and Bianca. And we'll give you guys a rundown on what we like to feed our chicks. Let's see what we got for Dorsey. Y'all know Dorsey, she's old country. Looks like we got it like that and Buck Wild in there. Eating with. Right behind Dorsey and Bianca there. Oh, let's show you guys the feed that we like for our chicks here. And we're gonna walk it back here and give it to the we're gonna walk it back here and give it to 
handle stick she got in the back. I always like to, for my, uh, for our chicks, I like a mix. At least uh, seven, eight different mixture to the bag there. If you buy any kind of game bird feeder, it'll have what you need in there for your chicks. Y'all, it's got so much stuff, I don't know what them seeds are. I bet you if I read hope to the bag, I can figure it out. I reckon so. Let's get this on here. Let's get some of this feed thrown out of here. What do you say about that? Oh, one eye coming in. Let's get some of this. All right. So, let me throw a little bit more out of it. The black morans there are some of the ones we're going to trim up. We're going to put them over in that other chicken run that we told you guys we were going to uh, fix up there. That one's about 30 foot there. We're going to put some of the morans in there and some of the other hens. Some of the roosters may stay in here. But we've got to get this thing ready because over there at Camp 316 over at my brother's place, he said he's got a bunch of young babies and stuff hatching off. So we got to get... Y'all hear that? That go to interrupt my video. You better tell. I eat Nigerian dwarfs too. What? Sound like pigs that he don't care. But anyhow, my brother's got uh, some stuff we're going to go pick up. So we've got to get this area here ready for the young stuff to come in. We're going to add some more guineas. We've been kind of shopping around. we got to add some more guineas to the mix. But uh, some of these chicks here were chicks that we started um, over in the other chicken tractor. Yeah. Uh, and kind of grew out of that and now they're over here i'm gonna get them another scoop or so now they're over here and as they grow up guys we kind of decide where we're gonna put them from there where well, we're gonna put them from there by god i think i am gonna steal i'm gonna skip out on the pigs i say because i think they're being a little, getting a little overfed but i am gonna sneak over here and hit the peacocks for sure i don't know if y'all know it yet or not but uh I said in the last video, for you that follow along, uh, we met a lady by the name of Judy Turner. You know, we got us some more peacock, peacocks, I'm sorry. And uh, I think what we're gonna do is, I reached out to her about possibly trying to get a few more males to put out here. And you guys know that last video from way on back where we tried to put the peacocks on the tie rope there. We tried to put the peacocks on the tie rope. We thinking about loading this place down with about five or six peacocks on the tie ropes. Why not? Why not us? Why not us? That's what I say about it. What you say about it? How about you? He, she said, do it. She said, subscribe, like, and subscribe. I finally got somebody. Y'all, listen. I finally got one of the animals on the farm to say like and subscribe. Y'all heard that. But, uh, they throw a little feed in our peacocks. I like that they need to calm down the peacocks because they don't really know us that well. So I just kind of toss the food and keep going and give them the space. But uh, This is what we were discussing earlier with our chicks here. It's still full of feed. There's no need for me to put any more feed in there today. And um, it's still full of water here, so there's no need for me to check on that. But we we're just gonna give you guys kind of a briefing on what we chose, kind of a re review type video, really, as far as feeders and waters and what we like and what we don't like. But uh, not really to kind of show you how to set up, because hey, all y'all already know how to do that. As y'all can see, sun's out, boats out. I say sun's out. That old Johnson out running again. The blue, the blue bandit. Riding my boat. Riding your boat? Yeah. How's it running? We're, we're taking tons with the boat too. Huh? We're taking tons. Is the bilge pump running pretty good? Yep. Yeah. Aerator working pretty good? Yeah. How's it float? It's floating good. Just an old 75 Johnson. I don't know about that plywood boat. 79 Johnson. Electric choke. I know some I know a little bit something about that electric choke. Hannah and I had some boat experience, y'all. We've been to. We've been to. What's going on over here? Looks like Nehemiah. Caught up with old Christina Aguilera over there. And looked like Nehemiah got something he want to tell him. Let's go over. 
But I was saying, y'all, Hannah and I, we've been through probably three or four boats at this point, and we got some funny, funny stories about each one of them. When you got time, call us sometime. Call us. We'd love to run y'all through. Yeah, we were stranded out there once or twice at night time. Can't swim, no lights. Can't swim, no lights. But, uh, looks like we made it on around. Looks like Nehemiah and... Ooh, boy, Kevin ain't gonna like this. Somebody's gonna have to tell Kevin. Oh, Lord. Listen, we got some... Like I told y'all, we got Muscovy Duck hatching. Somebody's gonna have to tell Kevin about that. It ain't gonna be me. It ain't gonna be me. But, uh... I was telling you about my boat stores. Like I said, we've been stranded out there. We about doggone wrecked them. We had us old Evan Rude wouldn't start. Old Evan Rude wouldn't start. Can you imagine in a boat, middle of the river, getting dark nighttime, can't swim, nobody to call, no phone, no service. I'm talking about dog. Listen, I ain't talking about nothing but doggone. That's it as far as the chicks go, y'all. Main thing with chicks is clean water, adequate adequate feed. Uh, chicks started to start out, and uh, a chick gritted thing started to look a little questionable, and they make chick mineral as well, which uh, we like to keep around as well. But that's it as far as the chicks go. Let's move this video on to round two, a lesson in translation. right big orange bobble we keep the gang crew hey guys we keep the crew busy watching bobbles on the water that's right we tell them just cash your cares away we're gonna keep them busy doing that thing watching the bobbles hannah and i hannah and i i'm sorry y'all so excited i can't even talk hannah and i gonna run down some worms it's been a struggle to find worms y'all if you guys keep up my last few fishing videos, you know that. Show the people what we landed. Texas red worm, Texas red wiggler. Down south, they say they're a paint you. They'll paint you. Red wiggler. Let's get them faded up. We're going to get them thrown out there. We on the hunt. Guys, we ran over. And it looks like Skylar's hooked up. We got our hat. That old orange bob is giving us fit down there. You gotta stand up, baby. Stand up. There you go. Stand up and fight. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, yeah. We got him. I got him. I got him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. My best fish. Listen, she says she's got her personal best on. We'll see. It looks like a good one. I don't know if she's gonna land it. That ain't no zip code 33 there. Whoa. 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 Whoa, Lord. Y'all look like she's done hooked him on here. I, I told Hannah to digging that old worm. She didn't hook hammerhead. It's worth it. What? Whoa, whoa, she's fighting him. I got him. Oh, looks like it's one nothing hammerhead right now. One nothing. I guess she got him about bank. Should I jump in and help him? Yeah. I think I'm gonna stand back and watch the second round. It's a good one. I got a big one. Yeah. Hey. Got some shoulders on. No, it's strong. Mama can help. I'll get in there. Here, here, mama. Here. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me get down there. Let me get down there and see if I can help you out. Come on, Daddy. Come on, Wait a minute. Let me help you out. Let's see what we got. I got a flathead. You got a flathead? Yeah. Oh, you got a barely hook in the top, isn't it? I don't know if we're going to land them, but we're going to give it a world of a try. Nothing to be a moment, like a real good try. Don't put that hook in me. Nope. Yeah, you got hammerhead, all right. That's hammerhead. Yeah, we got him. I got him. I got a big one. I got a big one. Like I said, it just happens like that. I caught my first mm. fish. Caught old hammerhead. Fish. And then a the koi dad. Catfish. Oh, now listen here. When you say dog, whoa, 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 
Oh, he's a good one. She got a whole throw hammer here. And guys, if you see the top of his head right there, the muscles on top of his head, that's why we call him Hammerhead. Yes, indeed. And she caught him on her... Whoa. Hammerhead? Whoa. Hammerhead? She caught on her Paw, Paw Patrol special, guys. Paw Patrol special? Paw Patrol special. Yeah. You probably can get on them and ride them. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get that hook out of here. Let me see this. I want to show the people how he was hooked. Guys, if you look right here, what my pliers are. He was just barely hooked right here. Right on the tip of his mouth there. That's all it took. That's how much he was in there. All right, guys, let's get him off here. Watch out. Somebody come through that. Tell him, say, put your hands on something. All right, guys, and that's, that's a Trizolation one-on-one. That's the lesson we wanted to give y'all. And that's a good way to end it. We don't want no ending. Hannah, go ahead and put that music on right there.